Have you ever wrapped up a Zoom meeting and needed to know who was in attendance afterward or what time people joined or left? Today I'm going to show you how to do that. My name is Tom Kalinowski. I'm the Director of Technology and Operations at Colonial IU20. Today is February 26th, 2021. This is Tech Tips episode number 80. So in order to find out who was in attendance at your Zoom meeting, uh, what you want to do is you want to go to zoom.us, click on sign in at the top right hand corner. Go ahead and uh, authenticate at uh, Colonial IU20. We use Google, so we're going to click that. Once we're signed in here, go ahead and click on reports. And you have options for uh, two types of reports, a usage report uh, in which you can uh, view your meetings participants, that's what we're looking for, um, or registration reports. Uh, so in most cases, we are, we're going to want a usage report. Let's go ahead and click on that. It's worth noting here that these are the meetings in which you were the host. This is not going to show you meetings for which you were not the host. If you needed this data for a meeting in which you were not the host, just simply contact the host and they'll be able to follow the same directions to get the data. Click on the time frame to display all your meetings within that time frame. Uh, that will then uh, show your meetings below here. You can uh, confirm it was your meeting by the start and end time of the meeting. And then all you have to do is click on participants. In this case, we can see uh, all the participants each time someone joined the meeting and left the meeting and how long each person was in the meeting. This was just a test meeting, so in our case, you could see the numbers are relatively low. But that's it. That's how you find out who was in attendance and when they arrived and left. If you needed to export the data, there's options there to do that. You can just click export this meeting data and then uh, click export and it'll export it to a CSV that you can throw into Google Sheets or uh, Excel. So that's it. I hope you found that tip valuable. Please make sure to click the subscribe button and the bell below. That way you're alerted anytime we put out new tips. I'll see you again next time.